Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about SDXL Turbo, which is the fastest image generative model for Comfy UI. And some people said that is a real time image generative for Comfy UI. So without further ado, let's get started. Go to the huggingface.com link on the description and download the SDXL Turbo version. For my case, I use the 7 GB version. Once downloaded, Go to your Comfy UI folder, go to model and enter checkpoint. Make sure to paste your SDXL Turbo here. Now open up your Comfy UI extension, go to manager and update your Comfy UI. This update is gonna help us to use the additional nodes for SDXL Turbo version. Okay, now that we have everything, I'm gonna show you how you can use the SDXL Turbo. Go first, go to the checkpoint, and you can see that we have the SDXL Turbo extension. Now use your mouse and add the SD Turbo scheduler. Plug the model into the model, then use the Sigma to add a new sampler custom. Delete the key sampler and plug the positive prompt into the positive and the negative prompt into the negative if you can change the color if you want but i'm gonna keep it simple for this time also don't forget to plug the model here and add a sampler i'm gonna use the dpmp sampler now let's plug the latent and keep this low resolution For the sampler custom, make sure to decrease the CFG scale to 1 and control after change it to fixed. I'm gonna delete this save image and use preview, preview images in order to avoid having a lot of images saved in my computer. Okay. Now to enable the auto generation images, go to extra option. Also, don't forget to check auto queue, and you can type in queue prompts. Oh, I forgot to, to plug the output into the sample. Now it should work properly. The first time it's gonna take a lot of time, then the image generation is gonna be more faster. Okay, let me show you now. Beautiful nature. Beautiful nature. You can see how speed it is. Sky galaxy. You can see how the generated images are quite fast. Now let's generate other thing like beautiful car. Wow, it was quite fast. I'm gonna type in red dragon. And we have our red dragon beautiful smiling woman and here we have our smiling woman you can see that the generated images are not quite impressive i also forgot to tell you that the model works best with the low resolution in order to obtain high resolution images i prepared notes for you in order to upscale the generated images by SDXL Turbo. You can download these notes, link is on the description. Once you have the notes, simply just grab it and put it here. And you can see the upscaler group is here, which is composed of a simple a key sampler with the clip text 
VA encode and upscale latent in the upscale model I used ultra sharp four times and I used a dream shaper for a low checkpoint so before we proceed make sure that your key sampler denoiser is equal to 0 0.5 for the sampler name I used TPMPP SDA and for the scheduler I used the cars now let's start increasing upscaling the images I'm gonna put the final one here and click Q prompt first you're gonna have the low resolution images which is a castle a medieval castle and now we're gonna obtain the upscaled version of this one here you can see when we zoom in that we have more lower more details and if we want to compare it with the previous one you can see that we can zoom in like the upscaled images due to the lower resolution and the only difference is the color which, which change a little bit but we keep practically the same images with the high resolution now I'm gonna do another try <laughs> with the new prompt I'm gonna type in red drag I'm gonna open the image and see that there is more detail in this version. There is small changes, but you can play with the denoise value to reduce those changes. Okay, let's type in beautiful woman smile. Smile. I'm gonna keep the same parameters and see what we got here you can see that we have a low images due to the high resolution that I use here let's wait for the final up to scale version and we can see how to fix the smiling issue Here you can see that we have the same smiling issue. To fix that, I'm gonna reduce the resolution for the height and the weight. Okay, let's try again. Here you can see that we have a generative time that is more faster. And let's wait for the upscaled version. Wow, look at this, the final version is better than the generated images. Okay, let's change the factor two times and see what we got. Here we have a different results, but personally I like the first one. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you like my tutorial, please push the like button for me. Make sure that you leave a comment and let me know what you think about the STX Turbo version. So thank you.